guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today <laughs> today is sunday and i'm at home why am i at home every saturday i go to church in this place in my school actually <laughs> and as I, even as I, this morning i was asking my roommates if um if they have sundays like they go to church on sundays in this place because my school is an adventist school so go to church on saturday sabbath yeah and uh, sundays i use sundays for just cleaning the house and whatnot i'm going to try to keep using this place this very place i'm sitting as my place for shooting videos because i've tried taking my lights to the sitting room which is actually empty and setting up and it's not just working it's not just giving me anything that would, i would actually say i want to work with what with and investing in this place i don't i'm not you know sometimes there's different between you mo being motivated to invest in something and then you needing to invest but yet you're not motivated and here i need to invest but i'm not motivated i just opened my window for like how many minutes because i was looking for how to get like and i'm seeing flyers doing like zoing 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 everywhere anyway anyway um i don't know how i'm supposed to what i'm supposed to do about this setup and lightning lightning in particular in this house because i just have one window that i'm facing right now and then my pallet, there's no other window in this room and the whole place are just all blocked and dark and the rest this light is on but the light i don't know what the light is on and then the pallet has one window the kitchen has one so the whole place is a bit that so if i want really want to even use um lightning in an enclosed place i need enough light, lights and i have just two lights the ring light and um one tube light these are the lights i have here and really it's frustrating trying to create content here and you're not being able to create content okay breaking news my hair is two months old i know someone i'm not asking but my hair is two months no sorry we'll be two months on the third of november let me give you a story before i made this hair i said i actually want to try to keep my hair for two months because i don't know how to do it i keep my hair for three weeks two weeks and i'm done i don't know how to do it and I said I was going to force myself to keep my hair for three months in this place because number one there are different factors that even make me want to even keep my hair for three months. Honestly, finding someone to even braid in this village, in this particular place, to braid on my dreads, I don't know to speak the language. Self, I have to find someone that has to interpret it. And even after interpreting, they either do the wrong thing or something. So I made this hair in the capital that is in Kigali and then but here i don't know i'm not really sure if they'll be able to do it so i just rather do it there and then come back and stay if i want to make my hair again i just go to here and even those even their citizens go to here to make hair. just few of them make their hair here so you can imagine me now that is in nigeria that i don't even know how to speak their language they understand but how to start explaining to great on on my dread i'm going to show video and picture style anyway that is one factor the second factor is I just want to try it. Let me see what's going to happen. The third factor is I have dreads. I think that's been the main factor. I have dreads on my hair, and so braiding on it is not going to be bad. Even if that long, if I'm tired, still I go and wash it. I I washed it like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. I washed my hair. I think two weeks ago. I washed my hair. It was, it's actually cool doing that. So I'm supposed to losing my hair like probably next week, but I'm thinking. Is there any need of losing this hair? It's not like it's pulling out, it's not like it's going old. It's just underneath that looks, you know that it looks old. Is there any need of losing this hair? And I'm just laughing, I'm just saying, oh God, when you give somebody a finger, the person is going to bite you. And that's what's happening to me because why am I thinking of leaving the hair till the end of the month? Two reasons why I'm thinking of leaving it. So I will just lose my hair once and then braid my hair for my birthday. But I'm so annoyed because my birthday is 4th December and clinicals is starting 4th December. It's pissing me off. Like when I just think of it, I can't miss that particular day of clinicals because that's the first day of clinicals. So I have to be around. And that's my birthday. Ah! What can man do? So yeah, 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 yeah. 
that's one reason then the second reason what did i i can't remember what i said the second reason is i think i've given you guys two reasons if i've forgotten if i don't say two reasons then whoa then i think i'm going to show you guys how my house looks i'm sure i've not shown you guys how my house looks before so you're going to look at it and then <laughs> enjoy the view yeah all right so this is i did on this is my room and how it looks like here, yes, no. Sorry, I was trying to turn on the lights and this. My room is there. Then this is supposed to be the sitting room, like the parlor. But I got an an apartment that is not furnished, and I'm not investing in. Anything furniture. I actually want to get furniture. Probably if I do this one, I'll just get but I'm not interested in it. This is what I've done my <laughs> the other light I've taken taken then this is my kitchen. I've been drinking more alcohol for the past five days. Alright, so that's that about my house and yeah clothes that i washed now that you've seen my house yeah tell me something do you want to rent my parlor my sitting room if you are up for rent just inform me and then i'll be your landlady for the period of time that you're going to be in this village and again i might show you how outside like my surrounding looks like not the markets just my surrounding looks like and then well, that's for that speaking of clinicals in clinicals before you go for clinicals rather you have to pass a course called fundamental of nursing in this school if you don't pass fundamental of nursing you are not going for clinicals my brother my sister you are done you will repeat the course again or if you're tired you go out so here this is a question i have five questions I'm actually done the course, but we've not written the exam. We're writing the exam on the 17th of November. But we're done with the course, we're done with midterm, we're done with test, we're done with quizzes, we're done with presentation. And did we even do presentation? We didn't do presentation for clinical. Let me tell you, if you're good in anatomy, eh? You're good in cramming, you're good in doing one plus one, you get two. Don't try it in clinic, in fundamental. Because you are going to fail with water. <laughs> you the wine. <laughs> I remember telling my sister you the wine this morning. I was just like, ah, ah, ah what's up? <laughs> Honestly, you are going to repeat fundamental. It will shock you. Guess what? In fundamental, fundamental is critical thinking. Uh we had people that were actually very, very, very good in anatomy. That's in the last semester. Coming to this semester, <laughs> they were struggling with fundamentals because you have to think. Critical thinking is for um, fundamental. But if you think critically too much, you're gonna fail. So in order not to fail, just be balanced. Don't be tense. Don't be too like, excited. Don't be. I remember when we started um, the course. Uh, when we started the course, we had somebody who got four or five. Normally we give five questions. That's in the quiz and then uh, our lecturer was actually giving us quiz every single day like after every um, chapter the next day you're coming to class you're coming to write quiz she doesn't joke about there's no if she does five chapters today you're coming tomorrow to write quiz for five chapters but she just put them in five questions or she make them in ten questions depends on how she's feeling like doing it so we had someone who was always getting she got four or five the first quiz we did the second quiz, I got 4 over 5. The third quiz, she got 4 over 5. So it was more like, ah, this girl is the... <laughs> she's the best in, in, in fundamental. The third one, <laughs> everybody was not... See, the third one, I think another person got 4, four over 5. The fifth one, I got 5 over 5. The next one, so it was more like, Mr. A gets... There was no um, perfect, like this person is the choppy in clinical, in fundamental, sorry. It wasn't like that because everybody just had to balance up. But at one point, eh, I was 
let me not let me not let me not talk too much because my classmates will still watch this video <laughs> so let's let me give you guys like just one quiz that we've done if you think fundamental is easy you can drop your answer in the comment section what you think the answer is before i give you the answer i'll give you like two seconds to guess the answer right all right question one what is the responsibility of the nurse when collecting a specimen from a client a always accompany the client to collect a specimen b handle the specimen discreetly c clean technique should be used with all specimen collection d use a day old specimen what do you think is the responsibility of a client when collecting the specimen the answer is b handle the specimen discreetly am i supposed to be explaining how this how the answer is probably let me go to number two the nurse assisting a client with a diagnostic test which role should the nurse expect to perform in the intra-test phase the nurse is assisting a client with a diagnostic diagnostic test all right a assess the data b collect the specimen c observe the client d prepare the client i think it's actually a difficult one probably i'll get um the easiest one the answer is b actually collect the specimen three the nurse identifies that the other dose for a medication is twice the amount generally administered. What action should the nurse take? A. Administer the medication as it was ordered. B. Check to see if previous shift nurses gave the medication. C. Collaborate with the prescriber about the other. D administer only the standard dose of me of medication what do you think the answer is the answer is c collaborate with the prescriber about the oil. the uap reports a small skin tear on the the uap means the unlicensed personnel on the client's forearm that occurred during a routine turn after assessing the wound the nurse should take which action a obtain a transparent dressing from for the uap to place on the wound b request a consult request a consult with the wound care nurse c cleanse the wound and apply a dressing d tell the uap to reevaluate the wound in 20 minutes the answer is c cleanse the wound and apply a dressing five the nurse is caring for a client who is having surgery and is currently being transported to the operating room suit. The nurse should document that the client is in which operative phase? A. Preoperative phase B. Intraoperative phase C. Postoperative phase D. Perioperative phase The answer is A pre-operative phase so i think this this was this like one of the difficult questions let me get like the simplest one but even you can answer i'm probably right back i have come to the end of my video because i have visitors i'm going to show you my visitors today i don't know what to cook but i give them <laughs> this school is making me crazy and my plantain is finished <laughs> The first time I'm buying meat in this place. No, I've actually bought meat. But I've not bought one kilo before. This is the first time I bought one kilo. But it's very annoying because I don't even know why I didn't show you guys from the beginning. Why they would give meat with liver. Like the liver was a chunk of liver. That's what they give. Asking somebody's reason to buy meat. See, the chunk of liver is what they give that is part of meat. And I really don't like cooked liver like that. I don't even know why I'm even mixing it yourself with the meat, but yeah, that's my meat. I'm about to make that for the case. So, I'm heading, I didn't plan to come out right, like right now, 
I'm heading to get pepper, scotch bonnets, because I want to make a um, swallow for the librarians in my house. I didn't plan this, but. I'm going back home. There's no pepper, no scotch bonnet in the market. In fact, I think the market has not been open safe. People, and this is 12 o'clock. People are open, but man, they don't have anything that they can use to cook that. That's my house. Today's Sunday. Sunday market is gone. Maybe I'll do a vlog on that in my next video because this vlog is already too long. Bye. Patience is very fat. are you the bride? No. <laughs> this is not the bride. Alice, hmm? are you the bride? Yes, I'm the bride. <laughs> Alice is the bride. Well, I'm tired. I'm I just pray I will see Pepe. I'm going home. What are the swallow scams? My visitors are going yeah, home. Water. No, no water. Pepe. Eh? You get Fufu. Fufu is What? What is Fufu? Do you know Fufu? Fufu. Have you eaten Fufu before? Yes. How many times? Twice. Only twice. Mm. I'm eating fufu. I'm eating fufu? Yeah. And you still want to eat fufu? I want to swaddle. Ha. Swaddle. But the one I'm doing is not fufu, I'll show you know. If I had like food. So this is my gates and this is how my environment looks like. If you are a lover of nature. <laughs> Lot of green. My dear, this place is for you. Just take a look at it. So cute. Alright, bye. Putting a stop to this vlog. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and share. I think it's been a while I actually said this like on my face on the camera. But yeah, bye.